First thing you're going to want to do with your Prius is you're going to want to raise it up so you can get under it and over it because you're going to be working above and below. Then roll down all the windows, unlock the doors because if you don't, when you unplug the battery, you might not be able to get in your car again. And you should unlatch or click, you know, click that latch. Let me show you how that's done here. So there's your, you just click that over so it won't shut anymore. See that? It won't shut now. All right. So you do that. And then it's time to disconnect the battery. So you open up the panel, and under this, under this here, is where your hybrid battery connection is. So there's a plug. You pull the plug on. So you got the old, uh, the old V's got a ton of oil on the back. See that? You need it when you drive a Prius. Tons of oil. So here's the plug. You pull it over, pull it out and throw it in the thing, okay? And then the battery is under here. Uh-oh. Okay, so then the battery's under here. Let's open this up, take that out. Here's your battery. Now, I, I'll generally do the, uh, the negative. Okay, so you take your 10 millimeter wrench and you, uh, Loosen that and you pull the battery cable off. Put it somewhere it's not going to touch the battery cable. You can touch anything, just not the battery terminal. If you got all that, put the crap back where it was. That way, you put all your junk in the trunk. Alright, put the junk in the trunk. There, now it's all back to normal. Here's the new engine. I've taken the water pump off. See, the water pump's gone. And I've taken the intake manifold off. That's gone. And some of the hoses I took off. I left the gooseneck for the, uh, the radiator pipes and stuff. And uh, we're going to take that flywheel off, but I'm not sure. How much of it? Maybe just the damper. I don't know. We'll check it out later. But that's going in. If you need to, take some videos or some pictures of where everything was before you started. You're going to have to put most of this stuff back in. All right. It's okay to have a couple of bolts left over. No, it's not. You got to put it all back in. Just get it right. I'm going to take a bunch of stuff off. You can watch for a while, okay? Just pull this hose out. I'm going to need to get the air filter out. There's bolts underneath. Underneath the air filter. That's how you get the box out, the filter box. Use a 10 millimeter for most of this stuff up here. Some clamps and stuff. You gotta remove the uh, the three bolts that hold the um, the inlet for the filter box. So you take those three bolts and you put them in your drawer. You got a drawer with a post it labeled intake and filter that's where the bolts are going to go for the intake and the filter so you just write it on a post it note put it in the drawer the drawer goes in the in the car so this has the hose hooked up to the, to the little filter box so you have to you have to get it up underneath the hose here you see that that's got to come up, come up there and it comes out just like that. 
And you know what you do with this? You throw it in the back of the car. We have a nice little pile in the back. And there's a clamp down here. You remove that clamp. Mine's gone because I bent it. Last, and then the, you got the um, the mass airflow sensor, the MAF. Unplug that. Don't be yanking this crap out until you unplug the MAF. That's right back here. See that? You got to unplug this from there. Just leave it hang because it the, all the wiring is going to go over there. We're just going to unplug everything and move it over there. And put the filter back in. Oh, actually, don't. Because we got to take the bolts out of here. There's three bolts inside here. I suppose I should show you the three bolts. All right, so we've taken out the intake for the filter. And then, here's those three bolts I was talking about. See, there's two of them. Let me get a light here. There's two of the bolts. And there's the third one right there. So we'll remove these bolts here. These are 10 millimeter as well. Not sure, but they might all be the same size too. Yep, they're all the same length. So just throw them in the bolt, the bolt box. This comes out. You have to un unclip the hose. This is the hose that's going to get cut later because we're going to have to add a T to the uh, to the hose for the throttle body. But um, we won't be able to route the hose over the box anymore. It'll have to go under. It'll go through here. Don't worry. It'll all work. Also, just throw the filter back in here. Put the lid back on. Just like that. Put the lid on there. Just clamp it shut. And throw that in the back of the car. In the pile. Or throw this hose in the pile too. Might as well clean up some stuff while we're here. Pull the uh, the ground wires. I'm gonna save the wires, but we're gonna I'm gonna put the bolts back in the hole. We're just trying to clean up a little bit. Get rid of some clutter. If you're looking at the part, you wanna. You want to remove, just go ahead and remove it, you know. So um, now we're at the part where we're gonna we're gonna pull the wipers and the wiper cowl. This part's a real joy if you've never done this. If you ever need to uh, change the spark plugs, see the spark plugs are under here, so you can't just pull them out like a normal car, you know. Back these days, we just assumed that you should be able to get the sparklers out. That's not true. You can't just get them out. So, we have to remove the wipers and the cowl. And the, So, um, it's not that hard. There's not that many things. There's a ton of bolts. It's got to be 20 bolts in there. But, uh, it makes life a lot better when, when all that crap is gone. So, let's get it out of there. You're going to need a, a 10 mil, I think a 14 mil, yep, 14 mil, and a bladed screwdriver. Uh, that's pretty much it. Ratchet, whatever. So over here you pop this uh, this cover on the, on the wiper. Put that in the drawer with the wiper stuff. Just in case you weren't paying attention. So you got a drawer that says wipers and cowl. You just throw the crap in there. You just leave it there. 
save your ears a little bit by uh, breaking these things free before we uh, zip them off. Oh, look at that. Look at the extension on that. Anyway, okay, when you take stuff apart, watch where your knuckles are going to go, okay? Because they're going to get hurt. You're going to smash your knuckles. It's part of the deal. So, bolt in the drawer, the nuts in the drawer, pull the wipers, pull them off. These go in the car. I like to put them in the, in the back seat, on the floor. That was easy. Now there's these two little covers in the corner. They pop up. These two little covers. There's other videos on this. I'm not. I'm not the authority on this. But I figured just for thoroughness. Most of these pop up real easy. They, they made one right. Doesn't fall apart. So once again, the back seat, the panels and the covers and the crap I just put in the back seat. The little stuff goes in drawers. So in the corners here, you got these little, these little plastic push pin dealies. What you do is you push the center down, and that releases it. And then you pop it back up, and then when you install it, you just push it down. So, so there you go. So you pop these little pins in the corner, and then they come right out. So that's that. And then the cowl itself is these little, these little poppers. You hit them with a screwdriver or just yank real hard. It'll come out either way. I don't know what I did wrong over here. This should come right up. Oh yeah, there's that part. Oh, that's for the... I got hooked on the brake, the brake master cylinder, so you got to watch out for that. I got my new favorite tool, I hope, some uh, bent needle nose. They should come in handy, but there's these, uh, anywhere these wires go, we got these uh, little clips, it's hard to get to them. That's why the bent needle nose. I yank them out no matter what. I don't really care whether whether it wants to come out or not. No. You have to unplug the the wiper. See this wire? That you're gonna you're gonna be looking at this wire for this whole process saying, what do I do with that wire? Where does that wire go? I don't know where that wire goes. It's for the wiper. Okay? Remember. There were, there were wipers in here before. Okay, now the wiper is come out. There's four bolts that hold that on. One, two, three, four. Well, it's up there. Four. Okay. So you break them free. Make sure you don't break the glass. Okay, because this this will be right right where you don't want it for this whole process. So. So you break them free, you get your, get your hand, pull all these bolts, I believe these are all the same size too. You want to take pictures of them or uh, a videotape, they're all the same size, but they have washes on them and they're going to go in the drawer with the other one. Okay, and then they, this, the, the wiper motor has to slide over before you can pull it out because there's a thing back there. I'll show you. But make sure you don't hit the glass, okay? Just slide it over. If you're going to be hyper, don't be hyper there. So here's that thing that slips over to, so you get it in there, and then it slips, slips into the, the holder back here. And that's this. 
right there. I don't know if you can see that, but this slips into there. And then put this in the back seat. On the floor, the car's got leather. It doesn't get to sit in the seat, okay? Not when you got leather. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's at least 12 bolts here. And then there's some fold down stuff. You're supposed to fold them down. I don't know how that makes life any better. Fold them fuckers down. But there's this bracket here. We're going to pull these out. The bracket. You know what you do with the bolts. They go in the box. And the bracket, you know where that goes. Back seat. With the other crap. Don't think that bracket, you're going to be confused with that bracket. Because it looks like nothing else on this car. You'll be like, whoa, that bracket looks like a lot, a lot like the other brackets. Well, there's no other brackets. Well, that's not true. But, you know, you know what I'm saying. Take these bolts out. I know it's loud. Like me. It's loud. We're trying to trying to make it quick for you. There's no special order for these these bolts, okay? And they're all the same size. Okay, the wiper, different size from the cowl, so you don't have to worry about that. All right. And then, this comes out. Once again, watch the glass, okay? And watch the, watch the fenders, too. See, so it's the whole deal there, all right? You can be hyper except for when you're pulling stuff out. Then you gotta be easy. Alright? That, go, that goes in the back seat. Look how much room we got now. Look at this. We got room to work now. You can't see you can't see the the whole breadth of space that we have now. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a better angle on the uh, on all the crap we got to do. Next, I think we're going to take the intake manifold off because it's got to go on the other on the other engine anyway. So it's not like we're going to be able to leave it. So down here, we're going to pull the pull the water pump the water pump connector, and then down here you got the air conditioning. See, that's the AC. It's kind of a bitch to get that out of there. But we'll get it. We'll get it eventually. And then you got this, uh, this knock sensor connector. Well, since I had such a hard time with this uh, connector for the air conditioner, see that's the AC compressor down there. I thought I'd show you in advance what it what it looks like. See, there's a there's a little tab right there. You got to squeeze that tab. Ah, 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 but it's hard to get your thumb under there. I don't know. I just popped it off with a screwdriver. I just jammed a screwdriver under there and popped it. But that's what it looks like. So. Find a way to squeeze that little tab there and it'll pop right off. 